Welcome back to the roundtable. We're on the line with Jennifer Jaber with riblogger.com telling us about what's happening in our lovely communities here in Rhode Island with the top five events here in Rhode Island. Jennifer, what's going on? What's happening out there? A lot going on, and Happy New Year, and hopefully New Year. Um, your New Year's resolution wasn't too food-related because mm-hmm. there's lots of great food events coming up in January. Of course. <laughs> and it's Rhode Island. Uh, Providence Restaurant Weeks are starting January 15th to the 28th, so plenty of time to get to Providence. It's an already red-hot culinary scene, which I'm sure you all know. Um, the, there will be prefix menus, so you can choose from mouth-watering menus at nearly 100 restaurants. They're typically three-course lunches, which are $14.95, and three-course dinners, which are either $29.95 or $34.95, and there'll be two-for-one specials as well. Tons of your favorite restaurants will be participating. You can keep up to date on the restaurants as they come in by checking out the event. Right also, on riblogger.com. Yes, exactly, Just... right on riblogger.com. <laughs> and um, if you have a wedding coming up in 2017, you want to mark that Sunday, January 15th, the Southern New England Bridal Expo will be taking place. Nice. It'll be from 10, 15 a.m. to 4.30. Um, it's in its 23rd year, to, year of helping brides meet local vendors. There's over 140 exhibitors from caterers to photographers and florists to hotels. Really, it's kind of like a one-stop shop. Mm-hmm. And there's also a chance to win many great prizes. You can bring along friends and family to share the fun. Um, at the Rhode Island Convention Center, and that's located, obviously, in downtown Providence. So it's a great way if you have a wedding or you have a friend who has a wedding, you know, you could just make a date and go there and get ideas or get some things off your list. Mm-hmm. Sunday, also January 15th, um, if you want to participate in more beer activities. The Rhode Island Winter Beer Blast mm. is the East Bay's largest tasting and local vendor event. Um, it's for the community. It allows guests to spend more one-on-one time with the brewers and the vendors. So if you have questions about brewing or even cooking in some cases, you can get to the vendors and the brewers. There's 25 breweries and several local East Bay vendors offering their amazing products. There'll be music, food, and beer. It's 21 plus, and there are two sessions from 12 to 2 and... 2.30 to 4.30, and it's at the historic Warren Armory on Jefferson Street. It's $35 a person, mm-hmm. sponsored by Federal Hill Pizza, which is delicious, and renewal by Anderson of Rhode Island. So definitely worth putting that in your in your bag of tricks for your January mm-hmm. fun. $35 is not a bad price either for what you get for your ticket. No, I, I can't imagine. And nobody has more, like, brew events than Jennifer here. Right, John? <laughs> You've noticed, yes. Yeah, every time, brew bus, brew, brewery tour. How much beer do you drink, <laughs> Jennifer? I don't drink a lot of beer, actually. I just <laughs> I you... just think that they're, you know, I like the fact that they're just a great local community. I We went to Ravenous Brewery, like, a, a few years back and had a really good conversation with them about how they love that uh, having a local brewery, you know, going back in time used to be a place where community could meet and you know just talk and over an enjoyment of beer as opposed to just drinking to get drunk type yep. of thing. so so that's why I like, you know i respect the breweries and what they're doing and and i love how it, it does foster a sense of community and like uh, you know i to me i think it's more of like a healthy view on what drinking should be it's like oh this is delicious let's have one instead of you know Abs- absolutely <laughs> absolutely that's awesome i love how you support local business and and have like such a good pulse on the community and you know real estate is so much more than just real estate it's about the actual community so that's why jen you've been such a huge part of our show and uh and people love it and your website uh being a local business and such a success story is just so awesome to have as part of the show so thank you for being here in 2015 and 16 and we're looking forward to an exciting 17 with you and, uh, and, and watching your business grow and, and, uh, and ours and, and our listenership. So thanks again so much. Check it out at riblogger.com. Jen, have a wonderful new year. So you can see.